Sheriff Warren up with reviews and today we've got a look at the Nike Killshot SP. Before we get into the review guys, if you are new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell and you'll never miss any of our latest videos. Let's get into the review and today we're looking at like an old school tennis shoe that Nike have had in the past and that's the Nike Killshot SP. And we've got this in the dark beetroot white colorway in the US 8.5. It's a European 42 and it's a UK 7.5. And this is your typical tennis sneaker. You'll find like, it's really sleek. It's, it's low profile as I can show you now. There it is. To me, this reminds me of the Nike Bruins, the Nike, Blazer Lowe's, it's really the typical tennis sneaker that you would get on the market that was back in the day, like around the 70s when Nike just started. And as I mentioned, this is a tennis sneaker. So we'll start with that outsole. So it's a rubber outsole used for the court. There's a lot of shapes right there making the traction. So you've got loads of squares and circles and the circles are like very prominent. They're coming out and that's what is used for the grip. And you've got normal lines on the toe and at the heel and that's there for your like dragging your feet at the upper again it's still the rubber midsole there unit and what strikes you here is that really nice burgundy well it's beetroot colorway old school and what's different about this is that it's exposed mesh so this upper is built up of an exposed mesh. Suede outlays you'll find at the toe area going towards the Nike swoosh and at the heel counter there. The lace system as well, it's a normal lace system and that's where you can find that suede paneling right there. Normal crisscross flat laces. Very Nike heritage this. It's got the classic Nike logo at the tongue and the kill shot. And if you go along the heel, again, it's just got a simple Nike branding. Looking into the inner of, of the sneaker, it's just a normal footbed. It's, you can feel that it's quite plush. And on the description that Nike put on their website, I couldn't find you and I still can't tell you what the Nike Killshot SP means, or the SP, but if I'm going to guess, I think it means super plush. They were, that word was, well, those two words were used a lot in the description. And that's to extenuate, well, um, highlight the fact that if you look at the tongue here, it's exposed foam. And it's really plush when you feel it. And the padding on the ankle support area is plush, it's padding. It's great comfort for your feet. What this reminds me of, so the exposed foam, it reminds me of the old school blazers, but what it harks back to, I think Nike struck gold with, they did like the off-white tent collection. And what Virgil did was a lot of the exposed foam that was found in the tongue unit. So whether it's harking back to the OG vibes or echoing what Virgil have, has done to Nike staple designs, what this is, this heritage line right here is really dope. If you're looking for a nice price point, entry price sneaker, go ahead and get yourself a pair of these. Like I said, this reminds me of all the old school heritage Nikes that are unavailable. Like I can't find any Nike Bruins at the minute at the Nike website. So we was able to get a pair of the kill shots. And as a tennis player myself, well, uh, at my own leisure, I'm, I'll be sure to try these out, see what the grip and friction is like that. Then, if you want us to do like performance reviews, hit us in the comments down below. We want to get your opinions on uh, what we release in the future. Can't wait to try these on, let's do this.
when it comes to the fit guys, I don't recommend this for you wide footers. This is a very narrow sneaker. So if there is a wide like version available, do purchase that. But if that's not a problem for you and you were blessed to have narrow feet, I guess, uh, this is the right fit. Um, so get your treated size, whatever that might be for Nike. Mine is 7.5, so that's what we got. And it fits well. It's quite comfy, even though it does feel a bit narrow on the sides of my feet, but I'm pretty sure my feet will break into it, giving it a couple of wears in. And I've got no qualms. It looks really sleek and stylish on. And I feel like I can play tennis in these. Thanks guys for watching remember to like comment and subscribe follow us at one of reviews with a z at the end on instagram until next time peace